Hello, Veteran 0 and 2 one here. Welcome back, and this is Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. In the last episode, we began Edge's Tale. Let's look at Geico's abilities. He's got ninjutsu like Edge. He's got the shuriken ability, and I guess that's pretty much it. I don't know what the... Yeah, I guess he can throw shurikens. He can't throw everything, but he can throw shurikens, I guess. Um, magic, ninjutsu. Oh, he's got his flame, huh? Okay. Well, let's explore with Geico here. Apparently we can't go that way, so we gotta go this way. And we get a chest with a potion. Fucking Geico kind of looks like uh, Quasimodo running around. <laughs> Alright, we get a Kempo Gi. That is, eh, slightly better, I guess. I think I'm going to hold on to... I think I'm going to give that to a different character in a different part of this chapter. Yes, definitely return to Eblon alive. It means don't do anything foolish. Alright, in this chest we get a Crescent Axe, which uh, makes more sense for Geico because that has much better attack power. Accuracy isn't as good, but that's alright. Head plate? Uh, yeah, I'll give that up. I'll give that to him. A little bit better defense. Hmm. Try up first. Hey, alright, a power armlet. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, see, I, I think I'm going to want some of these uh, equips for other chapters, so I'm going to hold off on that for now. Or not other chapters, but, you know, other characters and parts of the chapter, if you know what I mean. Alright, we got our first battle against some toads. Looked pretty easy. So yeah, Geico is kind of interesting when it comes to ninjas. I mean, it's a ninja that uses an axe? I mean, what? That's his primary weapon of choice? And he can't use shields. In fact, I think the only shield that he can actually use is the adamant shield, if I remember correctly. this. Skeletons. So I guess I'll show off this flame ninjutsu.
Really? Man. Alright, I'll do it again. Come on. I guess his uh, intelligence stat is craptacular. can't go back down. Unless we go over here. Aha. Yeah, I definitely have to use the save point. I think that's where's. How do I get to it? Oh shit! Why can't I just jump down? Why do I need a little sand patch to tell me that I can jump? Def Wait, oh, there's a chest over here. Okay. Aiden's kiss, huh? And yeah, I want to use the save point. Ooh, there's a healing pot. I need that. I was thinking about using a tent, but I guess I'm not going to do that now. Because I'd much rather just save. I don't think using a tent actually changes the moon phase anyway, so... It would be kind of pointless. Um, shit. Went the wrong way. I think. Oh, wait, no. No, I didn't. Can make use of that. Oh, yeah, these things. Pretty much mandatory that you use fire on these, or else they will never die. Hopefully, it only takes one. There we go. Shuriken. Uh-oh. 
because they're stupid. No, actually, you should run away. Incomprehensible. What is avenge? Does not compute. <laughs> what do you mean it's incomprehensible? Yeah, that was stupid. Wow, how did they survive? Such a pity. Interdimensional elevator launch. Wow, that sounds pretty high tech. Yeah, it looks like in this version of the game, you don't even have the option to attack the mysterious girl with Geico. So that's good, you don't miss out on a character. So yeah. I like it. Now it's a full moon, I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember what this controls. What is Full Moon? Is that like higher black magic or something? Or ninja? I don't even know. I don't care. Whatever. Sengetsu I'll do next. <laughs> yeah, that dwarf there on the far right, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that wasn't much of a jump. Tally ho. It's not tally ho. You're not a dwarf. Probably doesn't help that he's got all that heavy armor on. Well, 
Alright, so we're controlling Sengetsu. Let's go ahead and look at his abilities. He has the Ninjutsu and Human Kite abilities. It's kind of like Kane's jump, uh, his jump command. It fly up into the sky, then attack for massive damage. So yeah, it's uh, he uses spear type weapons, I believe. Even though he's got like a a katana right now, uh, his uh, weapon of specialty is is uh, spears, kind of like um, you know Geico's is axes. This guy's is spears. So, uh, there you go. And I'm gonna end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. In the next episode, we're gonna do Zengetsu's mission. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.